welcome back to our channel and thank you for tuning in and thank you for supporting us and if you are new to this channel and you haven't subscribed yet please encourage us by doing so and we shall bring you the latest news as they happen and together we can work with our great leader Mazin Namdekano IPOB and Eastern Security Network to make our Biafran dream a reality, he say. According to reports, the House of Representatives, People's Democratic Party (PDP) caucus calls for Buhari's resignation. Says Nigerian communities now have been turned into killing fields. Unfortunately, the general who famously boasted of leading from the front is now missing in action. The PDP caucus of the House of Rep has said Nigeria needs saving from the grip of Buhari. A statement by Okay, Chinda, the chairman of PDP caucus of the House of Representatives, said Nigeria has been hijacked by Fulani terrorists and Fulani terrorist bandits, all foreigners, who have turned communities into killing fields, collecting taxes. Unfortunately, Buhari will cause himself the general who lied and said and boasted of leading from the front is now missing in action because his plan is to bring his boys, his full and terrorist full soldiers, in order to overrun Biafra land and Nigeria. You know, Nigeria, under the leadership of Buhari, has been seized by hostage takers, Fulani terrorists, bandits, and killer headsmen, all foreigners, who exact ransom, demand on the poor and impo impoverished citizens, and turn homestead, hamlets, villages, towns, and cities into killing fields while the Nigerian security agencies, they look the other way. Because Buhari have ordered that they must not stop the Fulani terrorists. And that is one of the reasons why Buhari and his Fulani Nigerian government ensured that the Nigerian security agencies, their operatives, are not active on social media. Because they don't want the operatives to expose the full and ginger with plans. What is going on? And that is why social media is good. Because you will get to hear the story. Sometimes it might be fake. Sometimes it might be real. At least something will be hard. And it will put pressure on the full and Nigerian government. To stop their evil and wicked act. It will put pressure. Imagine there was no social media. The Fulani Janjaweed, led by Buhari, they would have, you know, killed everyone in Biafran land and Nigeria. They would have done that. They would have done that. But Choko Kikabiyama is using the social media to expose the Fulani terrorists, Nigerian governments, all their evil and wicked plans in Biafra land. You know, the bloodletting unleashed by hostage takers, which has gone unabated with Buhari showing complete incapacity to arrest the situation or bring the killer squad who roamed the vast swath of Nigeria to book is spreading across every 
acreage of citizen habitation and turning our once quiet and peaceful homestead, hamlet, villages, towns, and cities into funeral parlors and cemeteries. Everywhere we turn today, our dead are either being prepared for burials by families whose hearts are torn up by grief, or they are being mourned by families who can't tell where the killer squad will turn up next. Here is the stark truth of the Nigerian condition under the terrorist president, Buhari. Reynolds rule. Citizens are in a prolonged, severe, and intense state of mourning that has kept them stuck in acute anguish and pain and trauma. And that is why freedom-loving Nigerians needs to support our leader, Mazin Amdekanu, and ask for a referendum in Nigeria so that every tribe will go on their own way. If the full learning likes terrorism, let them go their own way and form their own terrorist nation, like the Taliban and uh, Afghanistan. They can do that on their own. We don't want them in Biafra land. We don't. Enough of all these unity beggars. Because while the unity beggars are busy supporting one Nigeria because of their selfish interests, their homeland, their villages and communities are being overrun by the Fulani terrorists. You know, that is what is happening. You know, Buhari is not concerned about any safety of anybody. He is concerned about the safety of the Fulani terrorists and their cattles. So he's not interested in peace what is interested in the killings. You know, Buhari is just a Fulani terrorist. He's their sponsor, their chief sponsor, their grand patron. And there is nothing anyone can do to make him rethink because he thinks that he's at the verge of completing the Fulani agenda. That's what he thinks. And he's being deceptive. He's thinking that using lies and deception will help him achieve the Fulani Janjaweed agendas. But he has failed. Biafrans will never give an inch to the Fulani terrorists. Not an inch. Not an inch. You know, directors in the Nigerian Intelligence Agency, NIA, have said in a secret memo sent to the terrorist Buhari that they are dismayed with several decisions made by Buhari after being deliberately misguided by Gaba Shewu and Abubakar Malami as a result of selfishness. They know and understand that Buhari's unquenching desire to fulanize Nigeria and Islamize it, and the Fulani presidency cabal are taking advantage of this plot. And they are also plotting their own personal agendas and interests that have led to unprecedented insecurity and terrorism in Nigeria and Biafra land. According to NIA directors, they complain that all this attributed to Buhari's inability to pay rapt attention to matters and now the National Assembly have concluded plans to remove him in office. But the Fulani terrorists and Boko Haram sponsors at the National Assembly, led by the Senate President Ahmed Lawa, Alain Dume, and the Deputy House of Representatives Speaker Ahmed Idris Wasi, are all fighting back, 
threatening to use their Fulani terrorist food soldiers and those in Nigerian military to level the villages and communities of any National Assembly member who supports the removal of Buhari from office. My brothers and my sisters, you can see that they have Fulani terrorists everywhere in Nigeria, in the government, at the National Assembly, in the judiciary. They are everywhere. They have planted themselves there. They just want to overrun the whole Nigeria and be Afro inclusive. And they are getting support from Hope Uzodinjo in order to achieve the full Ani Janja weed, wicked and evil agendas. But they have failed because Biafra must be restored. Either the full Ani likes it or not, Biafra must be free. Thank you, my brothers and my sisters, for watching this video. And bye-bye for now.